Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. What is happening right before you self-sabotage, before you're pulled into it? Because you literally are. Well, you're experiencing a pull between two values that you have. One that is progress-oriented and the other one that is pain avoidance. Because everything you do is to get an emotional value met. Unfortunately, though, you don't know how to get it met in a healthy, functional way. If you did, we would not be having this conversation and you would not be self-sabotaging. So you're being pulled between these two things and you don't know how to get what it is that you want how to move into that progress, but you do know how to avoid pain. And so you'll go to the self-sabotage because it relieves the pressure that is building up over the fact that you feel like you're broken, flawed, and you need to be fixed because you can't get this. It is not your fault, but you must take 100% responsibility about how to upgrade into who you really are. So uh, I told you that I'm going to give you the process that I use whenever I work with my private clients. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. And then if you want my assistance, I'll be with you every step of the way as you work through your upgrade. Okay, so I shared with you a few days ago that the first step is to look at symptoms Symptoms have purpose, and it is either to soothe yourself, it is to um, uh, distract yourself, it is to get attention, it is to get somebody to help you. Those are the four, it's what's known as core four. Uh, Then after we look at how to do all of that, because you can soothe yourself, you can distract yourself, you, you can get attention, you can get others to assist you without being a hot mess. So the symptoms won't go away. It's just how you get them met will be upgraded. So that's the first thing we do. Then the second thing that we do is look at your emotions and how to flip the switch on fear. Because the part of your brain that lights up with fear, they have found is the same area of your brain that lights up with excitement. The only thing that determines it is the channel that you run it through, the label that you give it. So then we look at how you can take that fear and flip it on to actually have more energy to get uh, more done with less effort. Then we look at what motivates you. Is it status, control, freedom, relationships, fairness, truth, and justice? Because you, you have to be motivated to keep going. Now we're in the level of values because you're motivated to get a value met. And there's four of them. There's actually six, but to start off with, we always look at the four. When clients decide to continue to work with me, then we look at the additional two, but we got to get the first four mastered. And those are certainty, but when life gets too certain, you get bored. So then the second value is variety. But then after you experience a variety of emotions, you want to know that what you do makes a difference. And then you move into worthiness. But it's not enough that what you do makes a difference. You want to be surrounded by others who recognize that. And not only do they want to celebrate you making a difference, they want you to celebrate them making a difference. And that's validation. So that's the core four. 
Unfortunately, each one of these has a dysfunctional side. So certainty uh, says that dysfunctional, you must be dependent upon other people, places, and things to be okay. So you, you, you were taught that. That's how you were manipulated and controlled when you were younger. What you really want is what's known as security. If it is to be, it is up to me. And you'll be pulled between these two things. And guilt says that, oh, look, um, I I could have taken more responsibility. Uh, I can do better the next time. Shame looks to shift what you're feeling onto something or someone else. And that's when you'll self-sabotage. So you're being pulled between those two. If this is your level, I don't know if it's your level or not. Um, There's also a wound that goes with each of these levels that I share with my clients. And that assists them in deciding which level that they're coming from. Because you have an identity around one of these levels. And that identity is incongruent. It is incompatible with the goal that you have, with the dream that you want to turn into reality. So you're being pulled into security, but you'll self-sabotage when you've gone back to safety. Uh, Then the next one is going to be variety. And this can show up as either drama or freedom. Drama, there's always crisis, chaos, and confusion, whether it's yours or you're constantly finding other people to be surrounded with that are having that, which then leads to the next level we'll talk about in just a moment. And, and so you feel like you have this obligation to drama, to, to fix the crisis, the chaos, and the confusion versus freedom where you get to choose. Freedom is a privilege, and privilege always puts you under pressure because you're going to choose, but it, it's not going to be quite right which is excellent because then you learn to course correct. So freedom always leads to the next revelation of who you really are, the power that you possess. But, oh, you're under that obligation. Obligation steals your joy. And as soon as your joy is stolen, you're going to go to the self-sabotage to give yourself another crisis, more chaos and confusion that you need to fix because if the subconscious mind has been taught to solve problems because it will not tolerate a void, as soon as you solve that problem, it's going to suck a new problem into your life for you to solve. There is a difference between solving problems and moving into progress by revealing who you really are, stripping off the layers of your programming and conditioning that's holding you back. Okay, third level, which is worthiness. Worthiness can be discovered through importance. Oh, look at me. I get to martyr myself for everybody around me. I get to sacrifice myself and I'm constantly saving people. Or... You have significance. Significance says that, look, you and I can pair up and we can create something brighter and more beautiful than what we could have done on our own, which is the reason why you reach out to a mentor, a guide, a coach, a hypnotist. This is the reason why I use coaching and hypnosis combined so you get the best of all of it. We can create something that is so much more significant and impacts the world in such a bigger way than what we could do on our own, separate. But what you'll do is you will slide over into judgment. And you're the victim of your own judgments. I didn't save enough. I didn't sacrifice enough. And that leads you into self-sabotage. The final level, the level of validation. This is where you want love. And this is also the beginning levels of leadership. All you wanted to do was to be loved. But because they made it conditional, then you settled for the crumbs of connection. That they would only accept you if you were doing what they needed, which was, oh, saving them. 
And then there was always going to be a lot of drama. And you were taught that the only way that you could have certainty was to have people in your life that you were going to have to constantly take care of because each level um, uh, on top builds on the levels below. And you wonder why you've had such a challenge. Yeah, the, now you know affirmations are not going to fix this. Writing down your goals and creating a vision board, those are all fine. And do you know what that stands for? Freaked up, irrational, neurotic, and evasive. That's what we call it in 12-step groups. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, well, let me tell you what, what you just said. Okay, we, we've got to go to who you really are and what it is that you value because you're getting your values met in a dysfunctional way and the values that you have, even if they're functional, they may not be the values that you need that are congruent with the goal that you have because you get stuck on one level because it's where your wound is. But yet, you can move. No one taught you how. That's the reason why you would work with me. Okay, your self-sabotage is simply a manifestation of what's first happening within you. You want to move forward, but you do not know the process on how to make it happen. So you have to hold on to that value that you were taught, not because it's working for you, but because you were taught, punish yourself into progress because that's what they did to you. They punished you around the values to get you to do what they wanted you to do. How's that been working for you so far? I know it never, ever worked for me. The beatings will continue until morale improves. (laughs) No, I'm here to tell you that there is so much more waiting for you. But every day that you choose not to act on it, you lose one more day of your absolute brilliance and beauty. Beauty is simply the externalization of inner harmony and all parts of you can work together for what it is that you want. Okay, if I can assist you with this, 1-636-699-7791. We'll have a no charge consult um, and, and we'll make sure that we're a good fit for each other. If for whatever reason you decide I'm not the one for you, okay, I get that you have that freedom. I will still empower you with the questions you need to be asking the other hypnotists that you interview. Whether you hire me or not, I really do not care because I have complete faith in my higher power that It always brings to me the person that I'm supposed to be assisting. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's not. Now, you can also go to canhypnosishelpyou.com and you wait a few seconds. There'll be a button that pops up on the bottom of the screen where you can go ahead and schedule a time for us to chat. All right. You cannot punish yourself into progress. And the reason why you're self-sabotaging is because you're being pulled between two values. The value around pain avoidance that you already know how to meet and the value around progress that you do not because you are manipulated and persuaded to stay on the other side to serve the bad beliefs of those around you. I'm here to tell you, you can upgrade And it's going to be a beautiful thing when it happens. Please do not wait. Get the assistance that you need. It's an honor to serve you.